Hi everyone. Today I would like to bring you for a short tour of my home workshop. I live in an 800 square feet apartment, two bedroom apartment. So the main master bedroom is obviously used for sleeping. And this is the guest room. The guest room, because I rarely have any visitor, probably once or two nights per year. And half of the guest room is converted to my workshop. I work in the area of electronic, so mainly some electronic design, PCB design, product design as well as the prototyping. I do not do any woodworking or metal work. So most of the equipment that you see in this workshop is oriented towards uh, electronic design as well as uh, areas where I could do some uh, IT work such as uh, writing firmware, uh, doing some programming and that's it. So now let's have a look. So genius at work here. Move into the room. So over here you see this is the guest bedroom. And if you move down a little bit, uh, you see the, the fire extinguisher. So I put this uh, for safety. Okay, let's get it. And over here are all the equipment. I will do a short uh, walkthrough of all the equipment I have and also let you know the workflow of uh, where I put certain things and uh, why do I place it in this area. And for some of you who are not in the electronics uh, area, you, you probably do not know much about electronics. Then uh, I will also describe each of these equipment, what they do in brief. Come. So this is the laser cutter. Over here I have the laser cutter. So laser cutter, most of you will be familiar. Uh, basically is to cut things. Uh, there's a laser system to cut things. And this laser cutter can work with acrylic, wood, as well as paper. I mainly use it for acrylic. So this is the acrylic sheets that you see. This is the laser head. And there's a film extractor over here. Uh, during cutting acrylic especially, there's a lot of poisonous gas and the gas will be pushed out to outside so that uh, this room will not smell so bad. This laser cutter is 50 watt. It's a water cool. So you see the storage tank over here and I've wrapped the extension cord and all that for safety so that in case if water spill it will not get wet. And the pump is over here. Down here I keep a surface just in case a, a very old tablet so sometimes I, I need it. And over here I also have a spare laptop. And of course we have the glasses. Uh, because safety first, right? This is how I look like when I'm operating the laser cutter. I have to put on a mask because the toxic film is overwhelming. Then over here. These are the main storage unit. Here I have a couple of things here. A heat shrink field, hair dryer, some tapes and over here I have the old batteries that I was working on and these are all the one year old prototype that I've been living here for, for quite some time that I did not uh, manage to clear. So this was uh, during the early days where I was working on prototypes of uh, things like uh, air quality sensor, motion sensor and of course uh, some other projects uh, using the relays. And up here is all the main main storage area. So um, this is the storage uh, drawer. Here I have quite some things like battery battery holders, uh, USB cable, seal bags, and also of course like a Dremel, my Dremel tool, which is here. And also I got some 3 mask. So sometimes uh, when I do something that is um, there's a lot of uh, dust, then I would put on this mask. And here there are various uh, sensors. So the bigger item all will come here. And if we go down, you see the 3D printer. This is a Chinese 3D printer. I bought it from uh, China, got it shipped over here. And these are the filament. So filament is the plastic. And I have a lot more filament over here. 
So uh, different color, different materials, and I mainly work on the PLA. And moving here, you see uh, the batteries that I was working on. I was uh, doing a lot of uh, recycling battery project. So all the laptop batteries, and uh, once they are dismantled, they are like this. And then I have to individually test them. And down here, my regular printer, some spare parts for my machines, heat shrink tube, uh, fiberglass tubes. This is fiberglass tube because uh, some of the projects we work on, uh, we need the cable to be fireproof. And that is what we wrap it in. This is the main area where I do most of my electronic work. Uh, if I need to sit down and work on something, it will be over here. So over here, we have a hot glue gun and the film extractor. Here I also have a drawer to put some parts. This is my soldering station. Over here I got a like 32 part screwdriver set. This is a hot air reverse station, mainly for SMD work. This is my handheld um, portable multimeter. And this is a power supply unit. Here I have the soldering, uh, basically the solder wire, uh, soldering lead and all, all the parts for soldering as well as a soldering paste. And here is a label printer. I'm currently working on a production assembly system that requires one. And if I need to work on the PC, so this is the main PC that I'm working on. This is a desktop monitor. It's basically an i7 desktop with a monitor, a wireless keyboard and mouse. And here is my color screwdriver. Now, let's move up towards here. So most of the electronic components uh, I store in these two drawers. Actually, this, this, this three drawers. Here I store a lot of electronic components from transistor, resistor, so if you see resistors, we have uh, capacitors and different different uh, things, uh, operational M, ADC and so on. The reason why I have all this part is because I do a lot of prototyping. So whenever I need an electronic part, I cannot wait for it to be shipped over here. I have all the common parts over here. And up here is all the boxes or uh, certain things. Like I have quite a number of Raspberry Pi that I've been doing. Intel Edison, the banana pie, sensor tag, uh, as well as the particle electron, and all the tapes are over here. Crayon, marker pen, all my tapes are here. And then down here is the oscilloscope, four channel oscilloscope. This oscilloscope is pretty good. It, it allows me to also decode some digital signals such as uh, I2C and the spy bar. So it is, I'm very happy with this. It's definitely one of the cheapest uh, four channel oscilloscope, but it can do a lot of things. So basically I work on a lot of projects at the same time. Uh, sometimes I use certain boards and sometimes I then swap the board, swap a different sensor. So I just dump everything in front of here. So whenever I'm working, I need quick access to my parts, then they are all laid down here. The items here are not so frequently used. So most of the items that are frequently used are in the smaller drawers. And now on the right, here I have two battery chargers. And those are the batteries that I was recycling from the laptop for some of the project. Here I have a small refrigerator. Inside this refrigerator, here I have the super glue. So the reason why I store the super glue in the refrigerator is because it would only last a month maximum. But in the refrigerator, it will last for more than a year and it will not dry out. Uh, same goes to the solder paste as well. Um, it could last for many, many months inside here in the refrigerator. On the drawer here, these are some uh, additional tools that I have, spanners and so on, uh, additional drill bits, sandpaper. Over here, I store all the screws that I have on the right. On the left is the additional glues as well, unopened ones. 
and the most bottom here is the, everything about the electrical works, uh, some spare cables, extension cord, and so on. 